Hello babies, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a video for you guys where I will be doing my makeup. Half of it being all drugstore and the other half is going to be all about high-end products. So it's kind of basically like a drugstore dupes type of video. It's you know, I'm actually going to include brushes as well, so I hope that you guys are excited for that. Not necessarily are all these products like exact dupes, meaning like the color is the same or the formula is the same or the packaging is the same. It's just kind of very, very similar to where if you don't have the option to buy a high-end cosmetic, you can totally go for a drugstore product and it's going to work exactly the same. So I just thought that, you know, this would be a cool video for any of you that are trying to, you know, be on a budget here and try to still look good. So yeah, so I hope that you guys enjoy the video and if you guys want to know how I did this, then just keep on watching. Alright my beauties, so the first dupe that I have for you guys is something for the brows. I found the brow cream to be very similar to the dip brow pomade by Anastasia Beverly Hills. And for the brushes, I found one from NYX that is very similar to the Anastasia Beverly Hills. And to be honest, I personally love the NYX brush so much better. Like I feel like it grabs onto the color better and distributes the color even better on your brows. Um, but the formula of the two products is exactly the same. Even though um, e.l.f. is very cheap, you might think that it's not going to stay on the whole throughout the whole entire day. But it actually does it doesn't move whatsoever or anything so that's a product I highly recommend now for the eyes I'm gonna start with these primers one from Urban Decay and the other one from Maybelline uh, they both claim to make your eyeshadow last longer so I'm just gonna go ahead and apply that and then just blend it out with my fingers I don't really have a brush for this because I most of the time I use my fingers but yeah they both claim to have your eyeshadow be on all day so I actually tried it out with both and they do the exact same thing only they're a little bit of a different formula but other than that they will still get the job done now for the shadows I'm first going to start out with this Urban Decay shadow it's called Naked and they sell it individually and then the one that I found to be very similar is the L'Oreal eyeshadow number 201 and then for the brushes I'm going to be using my Sigma E40 and the one that I found very similar and exactly almost the same as the e.l.f. one so I'm going to go ahead and pop this on my crease and just blend it out very nicely the crazy thing about the brushes is that the e.l.f. brush I got it in a kit and when I saw it right away in my head I was like this looks exactly like the Sigma E40 and it's super soft like it's crazy how soft these silver elf brushes are now the exact dupe that I found for the lid color is the L'Oreal number 202 eyeshadow with the uh, Makeup Forever ME 700. It's a beautiful shade and then the brushes I found are the eyeshadow brush by e.l.f. with the E55 brush from Sigma. They're exactly the same thing. Even the like the softness of it, it kind of reminds me the same because the Sigma one is a little bit dense so it actually distributes the color very nicely onto your lid. But the eyeshadows are crazy similar because even the formula of it it's kind of like a creamy eyeshadow so it just like slides on your eyelid like nothing you know and it's they're both very very pigmented so i actually really really love that <laughs> Now for these colors I had a little bit of a hard time but you guys are going to be surprised that the drugstore version is so much better. And for the brushes I found the e.l.f. small precision brush with the E21 brush by Sigma to be exactly the same. But I'm going to go ahead and apply this on my brow bone and also inner corners of my eye. And you guys are going to see that the drugstore version is so much better, it's so much more pigmented. Like I said, these eyeshadows by L'Oreal, they're insanely amazing. Like. I literally want to go back and buy all of them because they're so pigmented and they're very easy to blend out and work with so I definitely recommend those. Now for the eyeshadows that are gonna like define our crease, I'm gonna use Cup of Joe Quad, these two eyeshadows with the Urban Decay Buck eyeshadow and then I'm gonna use for the brushes the Revlon Contour Shadow Brush with the E45 by Sigma and I'm gonna go ahead and pop this on my crease and also outer part of my eye that way we could intensify the eyes a little bit more um, but I do have to mix these two eyeshadows because obviously it is a little bit more darker and if I use the darkest one it might probably be a little bit too dark so yeah I'm just gonna go ahead and blend that out But after you're done blending that out, now we're going to move on to eyeliner. So I'm going to be using the e.l.f. cream eyeliner and also the Sigma Wicked Gel Liner. These I found very similar. And then the small angle brushes that I'm going to be using is the one from e.l.f. and the one from Sigma. So I'm going to go ahead and do my wing liner like I always do. And I find that these two are exactly the same. Only that the e.l.f. Um, eyeliner is a little bit more creamy. It goes on more like a 
type of liquid at the same time, but not really if you know what I mean. Um, but once it dries, I feel like they're exactly the same. I find that the e.l.f. is super, super black. And yeah, I just really love both of them. But now moving on to mascara, I don't really have dupes for these because honestly, they just both do the same thing. They make my lashes really, really long. So I find that they're exactly the same for me, you know, but I'm going to be using the Benefit one with the little, uh, Maybelline push-up uh, mascara. And as well, it goes with the same with lashes. It just depends, you know, what you want. Um, I personally like my lashes to be kind of like dolly-eyed looking. So I found that the Iconics are mostly similar to the Eyler number 126. They have that dolly-eyed look. But now moving on to the face, I'm using the L'Oreal Perfecting Base with the Tarte Timeless Smoothing Primer. And they're both exactly the same thing. They... I, I, it's just crazy how similar they are, you know? The, the texture of it to what they claim to do, it's exactly the same thing, you know? So it's kind of crazy. You don't really need to buy the Tarte one. You could just go out and buy the L'Oreal one and then it'll be the same thing. Now for foundations, I found the L'Oreal with the Marc Jacobs to be exactly the same. They're both very, very matte. And then of course I'm going to be using sponges. So I'm using the Real Techniques Complexion Sponge with the Beauty Blender because they both do the same thing. They're very soft. It's just the shape that it's very different, you know? But as far as the foundations go, they're exactly the same. They keep my face very, very matte throughout the whole entire day. And they have a medium to full coverage effect and they literally will you know, cover everything. So for me, these two foundations are exactly the same thing for me. Now for concealers, I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer with the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. These two are very similar because they feel very, very light on your face. Like the formula is very similar. And then the, also, the other thing that I love about it is that these two concealers actually don't crease up as much if you have wrinkles under your eyes because I have a little bit of wrinkles under there. So I personally love that these two don't really crease up as much. But now to set everything, I'm going to be using the Maybelline Master Fix Setting Powder with the Makeup Forever HD Loose Powder. And the brushes from Real Techniques, the blush brush with the Sigma F25 brush, which like have the same shape and everything so it just fits nicely under your eye to set everything so I'm gonna go ahead and set my under eye concealer but I'm not gonna set my whole entire face because I'm still gonna go ahead and do a little bit of cream contouring so just make sure you just get that under your eye for right now now for to cream contour I'm gonna be using the NYX Wonder Stick with the Pure Cosmetics Contour Stick they're both exactly the same they both have a contour side and then the other side is for highlighting but I'm only gonna be using the contour side um, because that's the only thing that I love to do, you know? Um, but then I'm going to go ahead and blend it out with the same sponge that we applied our foundation. As far as the formula goes, I feel like they're exactly the same, only I just think that the Pure Cosmetics is a little bit, just a tiny bit easier to blend. But other than that, I feel like they're both exactly the same thing. After you're done blending that out, now we're going to go ahead and set it. So I'm going to be using these two kits by Maybelline and the other one from Urban Decay. As for the brushes, I'm going to use the Angled Elf brush with that 128 brush. And I'm going to go ahead and first use the contour side just to, you know, obviously set wherever we cream contoured. And as well, apply a little bit on my double chin. Um, but yeah, so these brushes are exactly the same thing. And as well as the powders, I mean, they're not the same formula, but I mean, they do the exact same thing, you know. And then I'm going to go ahead and just blend that out a little bit that way it looks more softer now for my blush I'm gonna be using the same palettes again but just the brushes I'm gonna be using the blush brush by elf with the Sigma f10 for me they're both an exact dupe not kidding like they both apply the blush very easily and as well like the shape of it and everything as for my highlighter, I'm going to be using the one that comes in the Maybelline Contour Kit with the Becca Opal Highlight. These two colors are exactly almost the same. And the brushes I'm using are the Real Technique Setting Brush that looks like the F03 from Sigma. So I'm just going to easily apply that and you guys are going to see the color is exactly almost the same. It's just like the formula is a little bit different. Obviously the Becca Opal applies a little bit more easy. But then for um, my pencil brush, I'm going to be using the E30 from Sigma with the smudge brush from NYX. And I'm going to take that brown color again, the one that we applied in our crease to deepen it up and apply it on our lower lash line. Now as far as my eyeliners, these two are exactly the same for me. Like I find no difference. Like I don't care. If I have to go to a special event, I'll still use the Maybelline Skinny Eyeliner. This stays on all day. 
it's super super creamy and buttery like it just slides on your eye exactly the same with the Marc Jacobs but because the Marc Jacobs does have kind of like a gel like formula so that's why it's super easy to apply and then it stays on all day as for mascara I'm just gonna apply a little bit on my bottom lashes and then as for my lipstick I'm gonna be using the MAC Rebel lipstick with sugar plum fairy from wet and wild this is a huge difference price but the color is exactly the same and I actually prefer the Wet n Wild lipstick because it's actually a little bit more creamier, more hydrating to the lips. And I'm sorry I wasn't fully in frame but you guys are going to see that this, you know, these two lipsticks look exactly the same. You're going to maybe notice a little bit of the difference of the formula that one's a little bit more drier because obviously the MAC lipstick is a matte one. But other than that, the color is exactly the same. Then to finish everything off, I'm going to be using the Maybelline Master Fix Setting Spray with the Makeup Forever Mist and Fix. They both just claim to make your makeup last longer. Well, my loves, that is it for this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it and, you know, learned a few dupes here and there. Um, but yeah, so if you guys liked the video, don't forget to give me a huge thumbs up. And also, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, don't forget to click that subscribe button before you leave. And with that, my loves, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, I love you guys so much. And I'll see you guys all in the next video. Bye! Mwah. I love makeup. I like big buttons again. <laughs>